Good afternoon, my name is Jim Conlon and welcome to latest edition of our entertainment show where we look at upcoming TV series and movies debuting here in Ireland at this current month. Uh, we're, all, we're in the middle of July at the moment and no doubt in July it's a great time to have a horror movie in the middle of the summer and what better movie to, uh, to have than another uh, a long line of the purge sort of movies. This movie is called The Forever Purge, and I'm delighted to be joined by one of the stars now of the movie, Sammy Rotivi, who plays the role of Darius Bryant uh, in The Forever Purge. And uh, Sammy, in terms of being involved in The Purge, uh, did you know, first of all, when you got the sort of script sent your way from the talent agent uh, that you're going to be involved in a Purge movie, or was it later on down the line in terms of casting that you realised whoa, this is going to be along the horror signs. And were you aware of the purge to begin with? Well, you know, the funny thing about that is uh, I, I actually auditioned for the first purge. Okay. <laughs> so what a, what a, what a kind of like uh, to come around at the end, uh, and this is supposed to be the finale of the purge movies, uh, this is supposed to be, uh, this is a big one. And to, to get the, uh, uh, to get a role in the last one, kind of like the, to close the chapter, but from the way the movie is going so far, I don't think uh, this, uh, this is going to be the final pur uh, Purge movie. I, I, I'm, I, I have a feeling there's going to be more coming in the future. Uh, and, but uh, yeah, I uh, originally auditioned for the, uh, the first Purge and, um, I didn't get that one, obviously. It was gotten by a good friend of mine, a very good actor, uh, uh, Edwin Hodge, who's also got a movie out that uh, recently. But anyways, and uh, so it's funny, uh, the director of this purge, uh, Everardo Gao, directed me uh, on the TV series called Mars, okay. which is about astronauts uh, colonizing Mars. And uh, it was also Imagine Entertainment, uh, and uh, we, we shot that in Budapest. And actually in between my off days, uh, me and a couple of uh, the guys, we flew to Dublin <laughs> for like a few days. And we went to the uh, uh, Twinning uh, Distillery Whiskey and, and uh, I really enjoyed uh, uh, Dublin, and Ireland. Uh, I had such a wonderful time because I've always wanted to go. So uh, Everardo was directing this uh, uh, this uh, purge and they reached out to me and uh, I went and read for it and uh, uh, Blumhouse I had already read for another show that I was off for for Blumhouse so it was kind of like uh, easy for me uh, to kind of you know to be in the running for the role uh, and it was such a blessing uh, to be a part of a Blumhouse and also to work with Everardo again, who was such an amazing director. And I thought what he did with this uh, this Purge, Forever Purge was amazing. And uh, Sammy, for people that haven't seen the movie yet, uh, can you tell us a bit about your character, Darius Bryant? Is he a good, uh, is he a good kin or is he a bit of a homicidal maniac? <laughs> I think Darius is a, is a, is definitely a good guy. He's a family man. He runs the uh, meatpacking uh, uh, warehouse that uh, the lead, Ana de la Guerra Fuega, I'm sorry, I'm saying the yeah. last name wrong. Ana, uh, the lead actress, works in, uh, who is an immigrant, and she's the lead of all these women that work for me, and she's kind of like my right-hand girl at the factory and she communicates for me to the other girls, uh, to the other Spanish girls, uh, should I say Latin girls, who work for me at the, uh, at the, at the factory. And, uh, and we kind of go through this purge initially together and then I had to uh, go look for my family. Mm -hmm. But I uh, definitely, Darius is a good man and uh, yeah, great character. And in terms of the script, in terms of what you saw in line for the Darius sort of role, what sort of initial grasp did you get when you sort of read the script in terms of portraying him in, in your imagination of what type of character Darius was going to be for you? Well, usually when, when I play a role, I always try to find uh, a connect to the character, and that's by me finding something uh, uh, from my life that I can find a parallel to the character that can relate to the character 
and it just makes me uh, it makes it easier for me to uh uh to connect uh with the character you know by finding something an element or characteristics of darius uh or his personality and uh uh and i feel like he and i have certain similarities uh as far as uh he's a hard working man he, he's a family man and uh he wants to do right and you know um uh he's not into the violence but if needs be he'll do what he has to do to survive and to protect his own so i needed to find connection when I read the script and, you know, usually when I read the script, I read for the story to understand what's going on. And then I find, how do I fit into this puzzle? Mm -hmm. And then that's where I, I slowly start breaking it down and then finding ways that I can relate to it personally or, uh, or have parallels in my life that can, that parallels what's going on in the story. And Sammy, we know The Purge is a sort of horror sort of genre as well. And as an actor, when you're playing a good guy, when you're not pro probably playing the protagonist in sort of movie, you have to sort of get that sort of feeling for that sort of fear emotions portraying those sort of uh, characteristics in sort of a movie. Is that sort of challenging sometimes? Because I know for actors and actresses, sometimes being involved in a horror movie is an awful lot of fun. It's an awful lot of enjoyment. It, it, it's further from the, the, the horror aspect that you portray in terms of uh, your facial appearances and obviously your tone of voice. I think for me, I just kind of look at it as, uh, you know, it's fun to be a horror, you know, a horror movie, but I, I just kind of, I, I always find uh, the humanity in every role that I play because it just so happens to be in a, a horror genre. Because if you're not uh, being honest with the character and being, finding the, uh, you know, the truth to it, then it's going to look like you're acting. It's going to be like one of these BC horror, <laughs> you know, horror movies that is so bad that you can see they're acting. And I, I don't ever want to be caught acting. Mm -hmm. I, I always, uh, I, I, I have to find the truth in it. And then the horror comes out of the situation that we're in. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and you want to have fun playing it. So whatever happens, uh, I still have to find the truth, the, the base, the humanity, so I can connect with. Then it looks real. Then all these things that I'm experiencing, the fear, the, the fighting, it's happening uh, as if it's real. Mm. And then the camera captures that because you can never lie to the camera. The camera will tell you, you know, the camera sees through to your soul, you know? And Sammy, you mentioned as well, I suppose, you tried out for the first original Purge. And one of the things about the Purge that has so fascinated its audience throughout the years has been its stunt teams and its over-the-top sort of stunts that has been able to portray in terms of that sort of action sort of sequences that goes along with the horror. Uh, in terms of the forever sort of Purge and being on set and seeing up close working with that sort of stunt team as well uh, where you start to take him back in terms of the the sheer the sheer scale of the production of the stunts oh yeah i was actually impressed because this is the biggest of all the purge movies uh this one uh and i you know my stunts guy was doing a lot of the stunts but i also wanted to do a lot like the fights uh, uh i don't want to give too much away but yeah. there's a, a big fight scene uh and, and that actually i did most of that stunt myself okay uh yeah it was intense uh but that's part of uh, just like you were saying early like the fun of doing a horror movie uh, but the fun of the action of really getting into it is like being a kid again you know like fighting and doing all this uh you know choreographed fighting scenes and you know, watching then, of course, the, the really dangerous and tough ones. That's when the stunts, my stunts guy, would come in and take over. But I, I always try to do a lot of my stunts because uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's like being a kid again. I mean, unless when it gets too dangerous, then I, I'm not Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise goes all the way, <laughs> a lot farther than I do. But um, yeah, it's it's a lot of stunts, a lot of fighting. But we had a great, great uh, stunts coordinator. 
and, and we had a great stunts team. Uh, I thought they did an amazing job. And it just adds another element to the movie. You know, it's so much fun. It's action packed. Uh, uh, the story is pretty good. And I like the, the point of view of the story as well. Uh, I, I thought it was great. And uh, Sammy, I know it's a busy time for you. You're currently in Toronto, Canada at the moment. Uh, can you tell us, um, have you any other sort of projects in the pipeline, maybe recurring roles, TV series, movies that will be coming our way uh, further in 2021, maybe later into 2022? And is it a busy time for you at the moment? Yeah, I'm currently shooting a TV series in Toronto called The Dan Brown the Lost Symbols, which Dan Brown wrote, The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and is also produced by Imagine Entertainment, Ron Howard and Brian Grazer. And so this is a series, uh, this is a prequel to uh, uh, Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. And uh, uh, it, it's based on the uh, Freemasonry and yeah. symbols in DC. So it's, it's an eclectic, it's an amazing, cast uh, a, a great project that i'm really proud of and uh, i'm working with some really good people actually i'm right i'm here in toronto now so we'll probably be here till september october shooting uh uh and it's gonna be on nbc uh peacock and it actually premieres right after the uh, tokyo olympics summer olympics okay. and it's yeah they're moving pretty fast on this one because it's such a, a huge project and it comes out in September on Peacock. So if on your streaming, uh, stri I, I hope you guys have uh, Peacock in, yeah. uh, in, in Ireland. Uh, so that's where this show is gonna be on. And I'm very excited. I mean, this is gonna be a lot of uh, action. It's gonna be in the same vein as all the Dan Brown, you know, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons and international kind of vibe to it. And, uh, and also, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of this independent film that I, I had that was at TIFF. Uh, that was supposed to come out last year, but because of the pandemic, it just yeah. recently came out. You can catch on uh, VOD. It's called uh, The Obituary of Tunde Johnson, T-U-N-D-E, Johnson. Yeah. The Obituary of Tunde Johnson. It's, it's a great independent film. It's about a kid trying to fight, uh, you know, uh, face his sexuality. And, and dealing with the fact uh, of, you know, that he comes from a wealthy family is, is expected to, to act a certain way, to be a certain way, but uh, he's in love with his best friend. Uh, but it's such a wonderful, small, independent project, and I hope people can find it and watch it. And uh, there's other stuff coming in the future that um, we're still working on, so I can't really say much about that, but... Uh, right now, the lost symbol is uh, the project <laughs> that I'm doing. And uh, Sammy, uh, in terms of uh, your character, Darius, I suppose if we could turn it over to him now for the last 20 seconds, he might enlighten all our audience here in Ireland, why they should go out maybe the next coming days or at the weekend, upcoming weekend, and go to the cinema, enjoy the popcorn, enjoy the Maltesers, the drinks, and <laughs> sit down and uh, watch the, the Forever Purge and Obviously, don't choke on them. I, th I think this is a perfect time because we've been cooked up in this pandemic for over a year and a half. And what a perfect summer movie, even though you think it's it's supposed to come out in October, horror, horror, mm -hmm. horror movie time, and it's coming out in the summer. It's a great summer movie because it's entertaining. It's a thrill ride, a thrill ride fast, uh, intense. It's, if you like a lot of action, a lot of, uh, you know, stunts work and... And I, I mean, you're gonna see bunny rabbits doing really crazy stuff. <laughs> it's 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 hilarious. There are, there are funny moments to it. Uh, I I think it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining, and it's definitely something that you get uh, a bunch of popcorn and corn dogs and <laughs> your sodas and just get ready for a thrill ride because I think everyone's gonna love this movie. Uh, and because uh, uh, we had such a great time doing it. And um, I think the audience are going to like it. Uh, so far, so good. The, the, the uh, reviews have been amazing. So I'm really, really proud and excited about it. 
Uh, on that note, uh, time has caught up on us. Uh, Sammy Rotibi, an absolute pleasure talking to you today uh, in terms of promoting the current blockbuster movie on our screens here in Ireland at the moment throughout cinemas nationwide up and down the country, The Forever Purge. Uh, you, when you go in, you'll notice Sammy straight away. He plays the character Darius Bryant. Uh, do look out for him and do keep in mind that uh, Sammy's projects are uh, coming up later on in the year as well. But for, for the moment, Sammy Rotivi, thanks for joining us today. Take care. God bless. And uh, enjoy, uh, oh, is it, dare I say, is it sunny Canada at the moment? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a bit wet. It's a bit rainy, but it's not bad. It's, it's good. You know, uh, uh, the weather is nice. But hey, I'd like to give a, a shout out to one of my best mates in Ireland. He's shooting the series right now, okay. Kevin J. Ryan. Uh, it is an Irish lad, and he's not. He's an actor. He's doing a series in uh in, in with Jane Seymour in, in Ireland. Okay. And and uh, so hopefully he's listening to your show. And uh, a big shout out to Kevin Ryan. <laughs> okay, no doubt. Obviously, uh, Sammy, that won't go amiss. Uh, Sammy Rotivi, take care. And God bless. Thank you so much. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.